Hello friends, this video on DNF block elements part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's try the electronic configuration of next S block element, yttrium, atomic number 39. So let's go by this rule. 1s2, then you have 2s2, 2p6, then you have 3s2, and then you have 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4 P six actually four P six and five S two and four D any element. I mean I don't know what is the number. So let's count first thirty nine. So we are two plus two four plus six ten twelve eighteen twenty thirty thirty six thirty eight one is remaining thirty nine. Right? If you just count this is thirty nine. Now, if you see here, the nearest elect noble gas is krypton 36. 4, 6, 10, 12, 16, uh, 12 plus 6, 18, 20, 30, 36. So, to this place, we can actually say as krypton. So, I can say this is nothing but krypton 5s2 would be 1. Okay, so this I can say krypton, 36 is krypton. So next element actually is my zirconium, 40. Right, so it's 40, I can easily say krypton is 36, this is 36, and then I have 5s2, 38, and then I have 4d, 2, 40. So this is the electronic configuration of zirconium. Okay, the next element is NB41, niobium. This is also I can take krypton 36, I'm done with 36, and then 5s2, 38, I'm left with 3, 4d, 3. Okay, now here also there is a catch. Here also what happens is actually one electron moves from s to d s and d the energy level is not that high so you get krypton 5s1 4d 4. see there are different school of thoughts now one school of thought says that 5d and 4s the energy level is very less in fact, the energy level changes. Initially, when the 5s orbital is empty and 4d orbital is empty, 5s has low energy. So the first electron enters 5s. Okay. But the moment one electron is in 5s, this energy becomes higher. And the next electron enters 4d. So there is a whole lot of confusion there and there are a lot of uh, explanations for this but uh, no explanation is concrete for this behavior. But this is actually the observed electronic configuration experimentally. So we will proceed further with the next element MO that is molybdenum. MO electronic uh, number 42, 36 has been taken care by krypton, 6 element left. 5s2 will take care of 2 more, 4d4 will take care of 4 more. So 4 plus 6 plus 36 is 52. Now here there is a logical transition. One electron move from s to d because d will become half filled, s will become half filled, more stable. So it will be 5s1, 4d5. Okay, the next is Tc. Technetium, Tc is 43, in Krypton will take care of 36, 2 with S for 38 and then 5 remaining, 4D, 5.
okay the next is uh, ru ruthenium that is 44 again 36 will be taken care by krypton plus 238 and then is remaining is 6 4d 6 see here also actually if you see one electron will jump because they are saying that 5s after taking so much electron this becomes uh, has higher energy right so it, it, instead of electron coming in 5s2 uh, the next electron will come in d orbital itself okay so the electronic configuration actually is here 5s1 4d 7 for the name in fact what technetium also uh, some textbook says it is kr 5s1 4d 6 because it said that this 5s 5s has lower energy when it has zero electron right first electron comes to 5s the moment it has one electron this energy is higher then the remaining electron comes to 4d only when the stable configuration is required for example in this case right the electron moves to the last electron moves to 5s just to get the electronic configuration this, this, these two 5s and 3d 4d the energy difference is very very less and the electrons keeps moving around okay so after ruthenium i have rhodium rh rhodium is 45 since 45 krypton takes care of 36 and then 5s i'll show you it takes care of only one electron as i told 5s has only a capacity of taking one electron then the energy level increases and the other electron goes to 4d okay so how many electron remaining 36 37 and 8 45 same thing here you can see actually you don't need this krypton 36 5s will take only one electron 37 and the 7 electron will be taken care by 2d here also krypton 36 5s will take one electron 37 remaining electron 6 electron taken care by 4d here also krypton one electron uh, 36 one electron by 5s and remaining by this guy even if you see the in fact in this case it's other way around actually right this is the normal configuration but this has to be stable so you are going in this direction correct same thing here also uh, krypton 5s will take one electron the remaining electron will be taken care by 4d please note for 5s actually the energy is low only when it has zero electron the moment you add one electron because of the repulsion the 5s energy actually increase as compared to 4d because 5s and 4d there is a very very small difference in the energy very very small almost nil and thus we have all this confusion okay then it is palladium just understand this now palladium krypton will take 36 electron okay and then uh, 5s will take one electron 36 37 and then 4d will take nine electron now if you see there is a nine there is a one so this electron will move here so that this become fulfilled so it will become krypton 5s 0 4d okay then we have silver ag ag is what 47 so krypton will take 36 5s will take 137 and then 4d will take 10 47 cadmium again krypton will take 36 5s will take 137 4d will take 10 one is more extra way to put so one will go Correct. Please note this is how you fill the 5s and 4d orbit, right? In this case, zirconium, you have 5s1, 5s2, and 4d3, 2 actually. But some people say it is also 5s1 and 4d3. Okay. So let's see more electronic configurations actually. 
now we will see the electronic configuration of barium sorry this is not a s plot lanthana okay this lamp thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again